consider musical string maker Daddario a window into the challenging world of American manufacturing. The sector lost two million jobs in the Great Recession and has gained back a bit more than half a million. Daddario makes both steel and nylon strings for consumers and instrument makers. Faced with a shrinking music products industry, it invested heavily in what it calls lean manufacturing, controlling more of its supply chain and utilizing technology to remain price competitive. This equipment and what we put in this equipment in terms of uh, the controls and the, and the process itself, it, put, it really changed our market share dramatically in the sense that about 10 years ago, we were a distant third market share. Today. Because we've been able to be more efficient, produce a better quality product, we're a number one in bass strings uh, in this category. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that this was a, a work cell that enabled us to be so efficient that we could reinvest it and, re and also develop new products within this segment to drive our market share. Co-president John Daddario III said this boosting of output at plants through technology allowed the company to grow even as the overall market declined. The company has actually boosted its total number of U.S. employees, bringing jobs back from abroad. The fact that we manufacture a lot of our own raw materials, so we're able to control the quality and the cost of that. We also uh, have the capability of designing and building our own equipment, so we have the latest controls. Um, and uh, finally, uh, we have great employees here, and we follow a continuous improvement um, manufacturing philosophy, which keeps us continuously competitive uh, with all of our manufacturing all over the world. So it just goes to show you that if you put your mind to it and your people are committed, it can work. The Dario owns its wire mills, and the machines designed at headquarters here in Farmingdale, New York, handle the coating of nylon strings. The company also wraps steel strings. The plant is a testament to innovation and how to stay competitive, shipping American-made products globally, even in the toughest of times. This is McClatchy Chief Economics Correspondent Kevin G. Hall reporting.